Welcome to the Microsoft Partner Showcase. I'm Zachary Riffel, and I am a partner solution architect specializing in security and AI here at Microsoft. Recently, notable cyber attacks against critical infrastructure have rattled throughout boardrooms and even the halls of Congress. Attackers are persistent and well-funded and will almost certainly continue to target novel vulnerabilities, edge devices, and enterprise-based applications or products all for financial, strategic, and even geopolitical reasons. There's truly no company or industry immune. Dell's Managed Detection and Response, or MXDR offering, developed in lockstep with us here at Microsoft, is helping modern organizations stay secure. Dell has been recognized as a Microsoft Partner of the Year, a highlight of our 35 years of partnership. Dell has also obtained all available Microsoft solution designations. They hold more than 47,000 Microsoft certifications, and they offer extensive 24 by 7 global MXDR services. In this partner showcase, we discuss Dell's robust security solutions. From procurement to tools deployment and configuration, or TDC, how they protect their customers with threat detection and response solutions, how they manage their 24 by 7 Global Security Operations Center, or SOC, how they scope new customers, and how they detect, investigate, and respond to alerts and incidents, all with a comprehensive demo. I had the pleasure of speaking to Shweta Singh, Dell Principal Engineer, Dan Button, Dell MDR Strategic Readiness Lead, and Kevin Callanan, Dell Security Services Product Manager. I am also joined by Colin Asayas, Microsoft Partner Technology Strategist, who will kick off our call today. Let's get started. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining uh, our, our, our partner showcase with Dell Technologies. Uh, today we're highlighting uh, Dell Technologies uh, MDR solution with uh, with the Microsoft Stack and Sentinel. Uh, my name is Colin Asayas. I am a senior partner technology strategist with Microsoft. Uh, my role in our side of our partner organization is to work with our partners, uh, and my, my partner is Dell Technologies, uh, to support them in building solutions around our technologies. And uh, just we wanted to highlight this solution that we've built uh, over the past uh, 18 months to two years, as far as the journey goes, uh, building this uh, managed XDR solution with Dell Technologies on the Microsoft stack with Sentinel and the Defender stack. Um, Looking at this, it's been a uh, it's been a it's been a journey. Uh, the Dell and Microsoft partnership has been around for over 35 years, which is a a, a very very long standing partnership, particularly in the technology space. Um, but this is this this uh, offer in in particular was uh, kind of came about about two years ago when we started to talk about uh, partner verified solutions uh, from an MXDR standpoint. And uh, Dell was able to get one of the the first six partner certifications and verifi verified solutions um, from Microsoft. So they have a, a very, very long and rich history uh, in working with our security stack and supporting our customers. And we wanted to highlight some of that today. Uh, so and you'll hear more about that as we we turn it over to uh, to Zach and to Kevin and Dan and Shweta um, as they kind of walk you through the solution and, and talk you about some of that. So thank you for joining. Um, really looking forward to, to looking at the results responses in the comments down below. Uh, if there's questions, please let us know. And with that, we'll turn it over to Zach. Thank you, Colin. I am Zach or Zachary Riffle. I am a partner solution architect on a sister team to Collins. We are very excited to have Dell on the partner showcase this morning. Dell truly recognizes that endpoint detection alone uh, won't suffice in today's environment. And their MXDR service and their entire services organization for that matter, combined with the 35 years plus of partnership with us here at Microsoft, uh, really has transformed their service to go well beyond just standard endpoint protection. Even with their human-led expertise, many of which you are seeing right here on the call, they empower organizations today to remain secure against uh, our evolving and alarming threats. And this morning, we are really excited to see exactly how they do so. We're joined by our incredible and talented colleagues, Shweta, Dan, and Kevin. Shweta, would you like to introduce yourself? 
Hi, everyone. Thanks, Zach, uh, for the platform that you have provided to us. Um, so I'm a practice lead for the Dell uh, uh, Technologies MDR with Microsoft security offer that we have. And uh, I'm based out of Hyderabad, India. So when uh, focusing on this particular uh, service offer, uh, we started with uh, defining and uh, uh, basically defining and developing the offer from scratch, literally from ground up. We worked with Microsoft team and uh, along with me, uh, Daniel and Kevin have been uh, working on this whole thing. Uh, I believe for, for more than uh, more than uh, two, three yes. years. And the current focus is really uh, delivering the best capabilities um, as part of this um, uh, services and bridge any gaps that customer uh, might feel that this particular uh, offer has. And uh, we are really supporting delivery capabilities and uh, exceeding customer expectations. So that is something that we are uh, continuously building on and working with uh, Microsoft. So with that, uh, I would li like to ask my colleague Daniel to take it over. Thank you, Shweta, and thank you, Zach, as well, and Colin. Um, I'm Dan Button from Dell's MDR Strategic Readiness Department, and I worked with Shweta, Kevin, and the Microsoft team to build this offer and ensure that it's Microsoft MXDR verified. And we're excited to talk a little more about this offer with you today. And on that note, I'd like to hand it over to Kevin. Thanks, Dan. I'm Kevin Callanan. I'm a security services product manager here at Dell. My role is primarily to bring solutions in the services realm from ideation all the way through having a full-fledged offer that we can sell to our customers. So I own our MDR with Microsoft Solution and have been working closely with Shweta and Dan and the rest of the team, as well as our partner at Microsoft to design and build this solution forward. So we're excited to talk to you about it today. Great. Well, Dan, Shweta, Kevin, again, thank you for joining the Partner Showcase this morning. So as Colin and I have mentioned, our partnership is nearly 40 years strong, which makes it very unique. What exactly is Dell's security service when we take a step back? And how does our length of our partnership, our, our reach, our breadth of our partnership contribute to the uniqueness of Dell security solutions? Thanks, Zach. It's a great question. Uh, as you highlighted, we've been in partnership with Microsoft for over 35 years. Uh, in the next few months, Dell's about to celebrate its 40 years in business. So it just shows as long as we've been building computers all the way up through hardware infrastructure and our services software infrastructure, we've been partnering and working closely with Microsoft to build the best solutions for customers. Uh, things we'd like to highlight is Microsoft Solutions Partner, uh, we have seven out of seven solutions designations. We are one of the largest global fast track ready partners in Microsoft's fast track ecosystem that allows us to provide a ton of services around Microsoft Solutions. We've been doing this for many years. Uh, we were partner of the year in 2013. We are a member of the Microsoft Intelligence Security Association that allows us to bring forth security solutions that are vetted and verified by Microsoft. So we owe a comprehensive number of services. Uh, we're gonna go into that next. So just to give you a snapshot and a, a breadth of the services we offer, we have the ability to support license procurement and CSP support. We have a massive deployment and professional services organization that heavily focuses around Microsoft. We have educational services for end user education and for skilling up and training of customers as well as our internal services and our managed services offers, which we're going to deep dive in today. We've been in the managed service business with Microsoft since very early in that opportunity. So Microsoft and Dell work very closely in order to build a partner-led uh, managed solution where we can take the best of Microsoft's technology stack and add Dell's unique uh, human difference with our um, IP and skill set globally. That's great. And going back now to your MXDR service in particular, could you walk us through more of the deployment process of that solution? And what do you consider beyond just your standard endpoints? Sure. So when Dell sat down with Microsoft to develop a MDR with Microsoft solution, we looked at our 
global SOC and tried to understand not just how to utilize the technology, but where we could provide additional value. So we go into customers and as a minimum viable require that they have Microsoft Sentinel so that we can utilize the automation orchestration and, and log management inside Sentinel, as well as Defender for Endpoint. Um, that gives us a real baseline, but what we're really looking for customers to do is utilize features of the Defender for Cloud for server stack, Defender for Identity, where they're utilizing other Defender solutions and we're pulling all of that telemetry into a single source of truth that our SOC team can then uh, threat hunt against and provide 24 by seven security services. This is not limited to the, the Microsoft solution set. So if a customer has other technologies, proxies, firewalls that they want us to utilize the telemetry from, as long as it is a supported connector inside the Microsoft ecosystem, we will happily utilize that telemetry to provide the best in class solution to the customer. I was just gonna say, uh, I think one of the things to highlight here is we worked very closely with Microsoft engineering as we built this over the past two plus years in order to understand not only what the solution should look like, but where Dell could provide the maximum value with our 24 by seven threat detection and response services. Uh, we bring things like our identity res uh, incident response uh, solution. So if a customer is utilizing our service and has an incident, we have a dedicated set of teams that handle breach emergency response, and we can directly lean into them to provide customers with that level of service. Uh, we follow the sun, which we'll talk about later with our global SOC across the world. That's great. And what's your insight? What's your experience? Uh, this goes for you, Dan, Shweta, and yourself, Kevin, in managing and growing this MXDR service from basically its infancy. Yeah, I think one of the values that we had when we've started putting this together is, as we stated earlier, we are one of Microsoft's largest partners. We do a ton of work, uh, even just on the license sales side. And we saw there was a customers were buying software. They were getting things like their A5 or E5 license bundles, and maybe they were purchasing it just for one specific use case. And there's a huge amount of value from a security perspective. So we sat down and tried to understand what components of that bundle we could maximize from a managed service perspective, where we can turn around and provide customers value without requiring them to go buy additional license beyond what they've already owned and maximize the suite uh, across that. And then we had the opportunity to work closely with Microsoft engineering to train up our staff and really build that mm. best uh, in breed solution. That's great. And I wanna go back to the point you made earlier about following the sun. How does your global presence 24 by seven, ensure that all of your customers that work with you receive consistent and, and high quality uh, service, which is essential in today's environment, especially in the security industry. Sure, I'm gonna jump forward to a slide and let Dan talk through our global talent. Thank you, Kevin. I'm happy to share more information on our follow the sun delivery model. As you can see on this slide, we have 12 different delivery locations around the world using follow the sun model and we support 75 countries by follow the sun what this means is due to our global presence we're able to hand off monitoring your environment from region to region so that you are covered 24 7 whether you have analysts awake in your time zone or not you know you have dell watching your environment 24 7. potential customers and customers can also reach out to dell from over 32 local country numbers so direct regional numbers without having to have a country code that's a immediate value and then as you can see the SOC team members have a lot of industry leading certifications and a lot of product certifications for the mdr with microsoft team we ensure that the analyst uh, obtain and maintain certification on the microsoft stack and this service like kevin mentioned has passed the rigorous qualification of becoming microsoft mxd verified now back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Dan. Zach, I wanted to just call out, as you look at our overall solution around the MDR with Microsoft, we found that initially when a customer would come to us and say, I have E5 or I'm deploying Defender and I want Dell to provide me managed services, there was a lot of questions that had to go back and forth. What type of licenses did they have? What features had they enabled? What policies were in place? So we could come up with how to appropriately monitor and manage them. 
we went back to the drawing board and said, how do we make this easier for customers to understand what it costs and what they are provided um, with our MDR with Microsoft solution? And what we came with is a, a simple set of scoping questions. What does your state look like? How many devices, how many workstations, how many servers are we planning to monitor your mobile infrastructure and things like that? What are you using for EDR uh, or next gen AV? If you're using Defender, awesome. If you're not and are interested in using Defender, we can help a customer get there with our deployment services. Or if they're using a third party, as long as it is a supported solution inside the Microsoft ecosystem, we can pull that telemetry in. We'd like to understand how long they want to be monitored, whether it's one year, two year, three year. Um, and then are they using existing E5, A5 investments where they've already owned those licenses or do we need to have a conversation with them about a step up to that more comprehensive license bundle? Um, the last thing we need to understand is has the con customer deployed Sentinel and Defender already? If not, we have a dedicated team of deployment engineers who can help a customer design and deploy their Sentinel environment, set That's up great. Defender policies uh, and other solutions that we can get into on the next slide. So this is just an example of how a customer walks through our deployment process when they are onboarded. So a customer signs up for our MDR with Microsoft solution. Dell begins to initiate service. We have kickoff meetings and things like that. As part of that process, through Microsoft's Lighthouse MSSP integration, which allows us oversight into the customer environment, we have to work with the customer in order to make sure that our Dell SOC engineers have access to the appropriate environment inside their tenant. If a customer hasn't deployed Defender or Sentinel, or they have, but need support in validating that it is set up correctly, or maybe there's some tweaking need, needed to be involved. Uh, we offer a tools deployment and configuration service where our deployment team can come in and assist with policy deployment, onboarding and sensor rollout, where we're setting up the different components and policies required. If there's assistance needed to integrate with Lighthouse so that we can get access and provide that secured and audited and managed access into the customer environment, we can set all of that up and then hand over to our 24 by 7 SOC monitoring team to monitor them going forward. This is a really powerful opportunity where a customer has an end goal of monitoring and needs help to walk the process in order to be in the best possible position that we can detect and alert on incidents. Thank you for sharing your, your, your TDC. And I want to go to the next slide to share some more notable milestones reached on how exactly we collaborate uh, as Dell and Microsoft in, a, in our partnership. Thank you, Kevin. So it really all starts with your raw data. This is ingesting your security and activity logs from essentially any platform you can imagine, including your on-prem, your infrastructure, your IoT and OT, your IAM, your modern SaaS applications, all the way to uh, more Microsoft native resources, think your M365 suite. That raw signal and uh, data turns into intelligence and deep insights uh, through our uh, Microsoft Defender suite, through Defender for Cloud, which all feeds up to our SIEM and SOAR platform, Microsoft Sentinel, um, which includes both AI and machine learning, normalization, threat intelligence, uh, and the Microsoft Graph Security API. This stack alone helps modern organizations meet today's threats, but what Dell has built on top of it really goes above and beyond. Dan, could you expand more on, on what Dell has built on top of this? Sorry. Thank you, Zach. I'm Absolutely. happy to highlight some of the benefits we added in MDR with Microsoft, building on top of Microsoft Security Stack. In addition to 24 by 7 Follow the Sun uh, MDR, MDR services, you also have these additional benefits included in the service. I'd like to highlight some of these today. In the middle, you see service-related security configurations, and this is a 40-hour per quarter benefit for you to work with our teams for breakout sessions covering investigation write-ups. It may be tuning recommendation to increase your signal-to-noise ratio in your environment, or anything related to the service for your teams and our teams to discuss. Included in the service is also an additional 40 hours per year of an incident response so that when your team and our teams agree there's an incident, we can respond quickly with those 40 hours and plan a strategic approach together. Of course, we hope that's the rare scenario, but we included that in case the scenario arises. 
these are a couple of the highlights of our, of our service we built on top of the stack that are powered by our personnel you saw on the other slide. We're going to turn over to Sweta uh, from our MDR SOC uh, team to talk through an investigation workflow as well as show us some demos around a day in the life. Thank you, Kevin. Right. Um, yeah, so I think we have already talked about how we uh, take care of the deployment uh, for this particular solution. So uh, we'll, we'll further take a look at how the overall investigation workflow or uh, overall SOC, uh, SOC team uh, works on this particular solution. So uh, starting with, as we have already touched upon, on the deployment that uh, all these integrations will be taken care by the deployment team. Uh, once everything is done, and this would be typically taken care during the uh, onboarding or kickoff meetings, once that's taken care, uh, SOC team starts monitoring a customer's environment. And uh, we have an internal uh, SOC management portal, uh, which allows uh, us, uh, which allows basically the SOC team to uh, continuously re receive or get all these high and medium severity alerts assigned. To them and as soon as these alerts get assigned to them they start uh, triaging them uh, based on their basic uh, triaging and investigation uh, if they find that particular uh, alert or incident is benign or a false positive they go ahead and simply resolve it uh, by providing uh, a good good detail on the co comments uh, however if uh, if they uh, find something doesn't add up and if they feel that uh, something would require more uh, insights from customer, maybe sort of a confirmation because it could be an admin activity uh, as well, uh, or it could be a malicious activity as well. Something that basically requires customer's attention. So that is where uh, SOC teams or SOC analyst investigates it further, documents the findings, um, and accordingly, uh, an analyst will notify it to customer. Now, uh, we leverage the uh, uh, Sentinel playbook uh, to send out those uh, uh, email notifications out to customer. Uh, additionally, now if uh, based on the investigation or analysis on, on that particular alert, uh, if we identify that this is kind of a high risk threat. So along with creating the investigation write up on the incident and notifying the customer via the email, uh, SOC team is also going to give a quick call to customer. Uh, and we, as mentioned previously, so on, uh, uh, and this is something where, uh, the teams will already, uh, SOC team will already be aware of all the escalation point of contacts on customer side. This is something that will be uh, defined at the time of kickoff meeting itself. Uh, and that is where we are going to reach out to like E1, E2 contacts, E3 contacts, and um, until somebody really uh, responds. And based on that, uh, we uh, once they, uh, once we establish a contact with them, we uh, walk them through the whole scenario that is happening currently. What are some of the recommended steps that we have for them that we want them to take immediately? And what are some long term remediations that they can uh, you know, go ahead and take on their side? If uh, we do not think that the situation is contained and we feel that possibly there is something else on their environment that we are potentially not monitoring. Maybe there could be some critical servers which are not really onboarded to, uh, uh, you know, on their Azure or are not even onboarded to Defender. So that is something that uh, we would uh, reach out to uh, IR team, and we have a pretty uh, well-defined and streamlined workflow on our side, uh, so that we quickly uh, uh, engage IR, Dell IR team, uh, so that they can quickly uh, start working with uh, MDR team, and additionally reach out to customer and immediately take over and uh, start working on some of the uh, key focus areas in terms of uh, incident response. So this is uh, how. Uh, uh, the complete investigation workflow uh, would be happening for uh, MDR with Microsoft SOC. Let me quickly share my screen. So, uh, okay, so yeah, so here we have uh, an incident, uh, a high severity incident, basically that uh, a SOC analyst received. They started investigating it on Sentinel. Uh, they could see that a lot of entities are associated with it. Uh, they could deep dive into uh, all the alerts that are part of this particular uh, incident. Uh, and uh, additionally, they can also go into Defender. Uh, and this is something that we have established as part of the B2B uh, Connect in the back end. So they can, uh, along with investigating the complete scenario on Sentinel, they can further deep dive into uh, Defender. And uh, 
once they have uh, done all the uh, investigation on defender and sentinel they will be uh, compiling everything as part of the uh, investigation on the same incident so as you can see it would uh, have the brief summary of what happened so that customer who a uh, customer who's not really uh, who might not be that technical would still be able to understand that there is some activity that triggered uh, because of a, uh, because of potentially malicious executable and possibly uh, and this is causing a uac bypass script that's running and triggering and reaching out to a malicious url uh, the impacted assets in this scenario uh, followed by the technical details and uh, we would also be highlighting like the actions that we have taken in this scenario like the uh, incident detection what happened uh, what are the some of the containment steps that we took uh, any uh, forensic review that we performed so defender provides amazing capability of downloading the investigation package for our device so that gives a very good uh, uh, picture about uh, any persistence related uh, you know uh, registries processes all all those things so uh, our teams would actually uh, review the forensic uh, package uh, and based on that uh, if we see any thing that we can remediate they are going to remediate through a live response session additionally uh, we will be taking remediation like uh, quarantining any supporting files which uh, defender might not have quarantined you know and then it will be followed by like uh, re uh, recommendations that customer can take on their side like uh, updating the devices and uh, security awareness uh, changing certain things on their policy and uh, i think in this particular scenario we would highly recommend customer to uh, Uh, rebuild the device because of a lot of persistence uh, activities involved so this report uh, will be compiled on this particular incident and the moment uh, we add this particular tag called awaiting customer response uh, and we al already have the uh, service now uh, incident id here that is when uh, the moment we update the tag and just change the uh, status to uh, status to active uh, it will be automatically notified to a uh, customer via this particular email so there would be a email that would be going out to them where it would highlight that highlight the title uh, brief description uh, severity and it will provide the link to the same uh, incident they can come here and then they can uh, provide in their comments if at all this was a expected activity or if this was a pen testing activity or if this was something that they did not expect and uh, they are happy uh, with us to uh, isolate this so they will provide response here and we will go ahead and accordingly work on the next steps so the moment they add a comment here we already have automation uh, rules and playbooks configured we will be notified and then uh, soc analyst will uh, take the next steps based out of uh, customer's response so from here uh, we will be collaborating with the customer so sentinel provides this great feature uh, with the case management capability where we can compile all the details all our findings in one place customer can look into Uh, all the entities from sentinel and can also correlate things that we have provided to them uh so this is something that we typically cover as part of the investigation soc approach and this is the way uh, through which we uh, notify it to them uh one more thing that we uh, do a lot and this is pretty much to simplify our soc processes so a lot of times uh, for particular type of alerts or uh, incidents we ensure that we leverage incident tasks now this makes our lives very easier we have like the set of steps like validating scoping uh, alerts part of this investigating the device timelines so these are like some of this is just one of example uh, for a different type of uh, analytic rule or different type of alert that comes in we maybe something for phishing we would have like completely different set of incident task but we do have these predefined uh, incident tasks uh, attached through automation rules uh, so that it makes uh, work very easier for a soc analyst they can just review these tasks and accordingly go ahead and start working on that particular type of uh, that type of uh, alert an incident and they are very quickly able to you know take the required steps uh investigate uh, required device timelines and i think for this one uh, for example we also give wherever possible we also give the ad, uh, advanced hunting kql queries so instead of going into device timelines they are very quickly able to just run the query generate the required timeline and review that and you know do the do their task so it just it becomes very easy for them
Yeah, so I think this is, uh, again, the screenshot from the investigation that we just saw. Just, so uh, just reiterating again, high level incident summary, technical details, which we put it in a way that a customer who's not really that technical is able to understand what is really happening on that particular incident. And then the actions taken on our side, followed by the recommendations that we expect customer to uh, take. And once, uh, yeah, so basically once customer has performed the recommendations or, uh, yeah, or we do not see any, any more activity, uh, required steps have been taken, we go ahead and mark that particular incident as uh, threat mitigated. And uh, yeah, that is uh, really how we manage the whole incident. So from here, uh, all these uh, investigations are kind of uh, uh, added onto the QBR that uh, you had mentioned, Zach. And I think we'll go into that, yeah. QBR example extract. So QBR is basically the quarterly business review uh, uh, meetings that we have with customer, where mm -hmm. uh, we talk about their whole environment, like their whole environment in terms of uh, number of alerts, number of uh, incidents, number of uh, investigations we created. I think, I think if you go on to the next one, yeah. So this is kind of a summary of what we talk about. And we have kind of just captured, I think, three, uh, three, three things from the QBR, but there are a lot, lot many things uh, that we talk to a customer about it, but we are just going to uh, cover here three main things. Uh, so we walk them through the active endpoint counts in their environment. And I think on the additional slides that we typically cover uh, as part of QBR, we break down the active endpoints or we show them the complete coverage, like uh, what are the inactive endpoints, what are what are some of the endpoint counts or devices which have misconfigured uh, sensors, uh, something that they can uh, further uh, take some action on. Uh, then we show them the investigations conducted. So we walk them through all the investigations or probably top 10 investigations. And then we deep dive into any investigation that they want us to walk them through, anything that uh, they want maybe more value on. Uh, and then the automations that we uh, configured during that particular quarter. Yeah, so, uh, and then uh, from there we move on to uh, list, uh, we move on to alert based incident analysis. Um, here the main focus area is really if we met our service level uh, objectives or not. And our service level objectives are really mean time to react, mean time to respond, and mean time to resolve. Uh, mean time to react is typically the moment. Um, and a uh, high or medium severity alert is assigned to an analyst uh, and they start working on it. That is literally the mean time to react. Uh, it's basically a acknowledgement that something is assigned to them and they have uh, they, are, they have started working on it. And then uh, there is mean time to respond. Uh, mean time to respond is the moment uh, uh, for a particular incident or an alert, uh, we create an investigation or we add that write up and assign it to customer. Uh, that is where uh, we capture the mean time to respond. And uh, then we have mean time to resolve. This is typically based on uh, when that particular incident is closed out. Uh, it depends a lot on uh, customers' inputs. So it might take more days than, than one day. So it uh, depends literally on uh, customers' response. So this is something that we cover uh, if customers customer have any questions around or Maybe they want some improvements in what they are seeing. So this is something that we discuss uh, in depth with them a lot. Thanks, Swat. I, I think it's important to point out that in this example, this customer had a, almost 11,000 higher medium alerts and our automation and ability to look through that ended up only creating uh, 13 investigations where our threat hunters needed to deep dive and potentially escalate to a customer. Uh, so we work wow. really hard to, to limit what the customer has to uh, work on so they can take action every time they see an important response. Absolutely, absolutely. I think something uh, that we, uh, uh, Zach, if you can go back uh, go back on the last slide, uh, th there is uh, one more thing that I wanted to touch base on. So here, uh, yeah, uh, we also cover like the alert suppressed. Uh, this is something that uh, based on the active monitoring, uh, there there are certain type of alerts which we feel is not providing any value to customer, and uh, and we would kind of clear out the noise and make way for something that is more relevant. So that is something that we capture here, and we 
uh, raise it with customers on these QBRs so that uh, they have no no concerns around uh, something being suppressed. So this is something that we actively uh, work with them to ensure. Yeah, and then uh, we also talk about the proactive threat hunt. So we uh, perform uh, monthly threat hunts. Uh, and I think I'll, I'll rather show a quick demo uh, for this one. Let me... So, um, so yeah, so uh, this is one of the threat hunts that we created, and it's for the recent uh, Iwanti Connect Secure VPN zero day exploitation. So basically, uh, we leverage uh, this this amazing feature that uh, Sentinel provides of capturing all the threat hunts uh, in in this one one place and uh, adding all the queries or adding all, all the queries uh, which are part of our hypothesis in in single one place uh, one place so uh, if customer wants to review uh, what really we ran in their environment they they just need to come into one place and then they can get a view of everything so for this particular example we have added this uh, threat hunt in their uh, environment and uh, we we try to add as much detail as we can like all the uh, cvs which are associated and how it's been impacted how uh, threat uh, how the attackers are leveraging uh, that particular um, vulnerability etc and then uh, uh, the threat hunting team on our side apart uh, i think additionally adding the description uh, and all they also um, gather a lot of threat intelligence uh, from uh, not just microsoft threat intelligence but a lot of other third party uh, uh, forums uh, and threat intel feeds. Uh, based out of that, they form a hypothesis, and uh, these these queries are basically uh, part of part of those uh, hypotheses. And uh, for example, here you can see uh, we set up something uh, where it's uh, querying for uh, IOC the uh, IOC that's associated with uh, malicious domain or malicious IPs, and uh, here it's going to run that particular search uh, across all the um, all the logs, uh, uh, all the security event related logs, and any anything that it finds out, uh, we are going to go ahead and bookmark it. Additionally, we also ran a web shell related um, hunting query uh, where it uh, searches for a malicious uh, hash that's associated with the web shell, uh, uh, yeah, web, web shell IOC. And uh, so, uh, yeah, once we add all these things, uh, and I think in this scenario, we could not get a result for this particular tenant. But wherever we uh, receive a result, we go ahead and add that as bookmark, and then we can come here and uh, analyze it further, create an incident out of this. Once we have an incident, we can go ahead, uh, add those particular, raise its severity to high, uh, add the tag as threat hunt, uh, add the required bookmark events that we have captured out of those threat hunting queries and uh, review and accordingly created. Once this incident is created out of this threat hunt, then we follow the same process. We uh, add a investigation write-up, assign it to customer. If we see something that is highly malicious and we want customer to uh, take very quick steps, so we reach out to them directly via phone call and uh, ensure that they are priority prioritizing all the response actions required for uh, this particular threat hunt. Uh, yeah, so this is something that we we do like on a monthly basis, and we have a very uh, proactive and a systematic approach uh, to ensure that uh, we are trying to uh, proactively trend, uh, proactively hunt for uh, whatever we can um, in a customer's environment. Uh, so yeah, so once we have uh, talked about the threat hunts, then coming to security uh, controls and uh, recommendations, uh, we have. Uh, a lot of these security controls are something that customers already have in their environment and this is uh, but we we typically see that they do not leverage uh, a lot of these uh, amazing features that my uh, windows 10 or windows 11 uh, provides so we ensure uh, that we are highlighting these built in protections uh, as part of qbr uh, these security these built in security controls are enabled and functioning so that they can get most out of their efi environment now just just taking an example of for example antivirus here so when you see like 2004 320 uh, this is not the end point count but this is typically the uh, the policies that are missing uh, as part of the antivirus security control and uh, along with this particular deck what we also provided to customer is a very actionable uh, list of devices which are missing all these security controls with all the policies uh, which are not present. And that is something that customers literally 
just have to go ahead and uh, initiate or uh, initiate the remediation out of their uh, defender if it's integrated with intune um, in their environment so it's lit literally one click and they they are able to uh, perform the security controls and if for some customers if they do not want to leverage uh, some of these controls uh, we would kind of replace it with maybe something else or on that is probably more uh, relevant to their environment so yeah i think this is something that uh, most of the customers have and we our focus is that they leverage it uh, they utilize what they already uh, have in their environment along with the other recommendations that we keep on providing them as uh, along with the threat hands and investigation and all those things thanks Wada. Uh, i think it's really important to just highlight we're not just utilizing Microsoft technology in order to provide customers yeah, with yeah. alert. We're putting so much human capital on top of that, whether it's with our uh, detailed write-ups as well as our proactive threat hunting in order to provide a customer with a really end-to-end -end solution where we can monitor, make recommendations, assist when appropriate with those recommendations to provide them a more secure solution, all within our MDR with Microsoft solution. So we wanted to, to close with uh, a call to action. And I think one of the big ones is it's very important as a customer, whether you're currently using Microsoft technologies or you're thinking about using them um, to review your security posture. Uh, we find it often that it is not easy for customers to dedicate uh, a follow this on or, or three shift type employment uh, of security engineers in order to provide them that 24 by seven security uh, services. Dell can provide that for them and integrate into their team so that a customer can still understand what's going on is still a part of the conversation, but that heavy lifting gets offloaded to our managed service offering. The other thing is we see a lot of customers who either have or are planning to upgrade to E5, A5, and they want to minimize their security sprawl. Dozens of agents on workstations, different point solutions. There's a lot of opportunity to minimize that and maximize your benefit with your Microsoft licensing so that you don't have to continue to increase that uh, cost and management of all those different solutions. And then the other one, which I think is really important is alert fatigue. We've spent a lot of time trying to limit what we have to bubble up to customers so that when they see an alert, they understand it is important and they need to react quickly because our team is able to identify and understand the importance there. Um, if, if you have more questions or are interested in finding out more, we are on the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. There's some leave behinds uh, data sheets that can talk to some of the solutions as well, as well as also you engage your Dell services representative uh, as they can connect you with the best person to have a more deep conversation around our MDR solution. Zach, thanks for having us on. I uh, appreciate the time and look Thank forward you, to Thank you, Dell team. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning more about Dell's Managed Detection and Response, or MXDR, offering. Explore their Azure Marketplace listing, which is linked directly in the description below, to learn more about their work, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>